a mix of experience and youth. Anybody betting against VCB? Well, she's the class act here for sure. And uh, not short on experience. Knows exactly what is required at this stage. Save a little in the tank to come back for the final later this evening. Well, I would bet against if it were that she would break the world record. <laughs> Smart <laughs> choice. That 10.49 is just a something else. Down in the blocks now. Semi-final two. Women's 100 meters. Set. And off. Campbell Brown got up fairly well. Sasha Lee Forbes is there. Simone Facey got a pretty good start as well. Now the top end speed of Campbell Brown. We look to kick into motion. Campbell Brown. She's fast, but not fast enough. Simone Facey gets there. 11.04 seconds. Campbell Brown back in second. 11.11. .11. Yeah, VCB looked a little bit uh, shaky at the start. They were really left in the blocks and kind of stood up and really didn't um, utilize her drive phase at all. Simone Facey got out beautifully and ran a very measured and even race. Um, led from the front, didn't look back, and just held her, her form all the way to the finish to secure her automatic spot with VCB coming in for the second automatic spot. Who looked to be in trouble was uh, Natasha Morrison, who seemed to have been dipped out by... Sasha Lee, um, Sasha Lee Forbes. Forbes from GC Foster on the inside in lane uh, three, I believe. Yes, lane three. So usually in a race like this, there's so many different uh, goals that persons have. Uh, certainly VCB just wants to come in and, you know, use as little effort as possible to get through. So Simone Facey has a different motive there. So Simone Facey in 11.04 second. Veronica 